Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Massa and today we are going to be doing yet another one of my weekly recap and accountability videos for the 12 week year. So if you are new here, I started doing the 12 week year back in January. I think it was like the middle of January that I started and it is an intensive way to set goals and achieve your goals wherein a year becomes 12 weeks, a month becomes a week, and so on and so forth. I'll have the whole playlist of all the videos that I've done so far linked up above for you all so you can have a look if you are wanting to do that. And let's get into it because we have a lot to talk about. So I usually do the weekly accountability meetings or videos. I usually do them every two weeks, but this time we are going to be recapping the last three weeks. And that is because I had a wobble. Let's call it, I had a wobble in the middle of these three weeks. So the week in the middle, I pretty much did nothing. I think I was burnt out. I think my mental health was just not doing great and honestly nothing seemed important and that's not great but I'm just being honest and transparent and just showing real life I guess. It doesn't matter how perfect you try to be with it. It doesn't matter how much I wanted to do things, I just couldn't. And I debated adding an extra week to make up for it at the end of the 12 week year, but it just didn't seem right. So we're just gonna keep the end date of the 12 week year where it is. And yeah, we're gonna just try. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what we can do. And yeah, anyway, so let's get into it we need to do a recap of, I'm just looking down on my laptop in case anyone's wondering what I'm doing. So we will start with week seven, which is week two of March. So this is the week that was starting the 4th of March. So I did all the money things that I needed to do, which was the help to buy account and paying off the two credit cards. I posted one video to YouTube. I posted once to Moonster, which is the Moonchild by Massa Instagram, which is my small business. I didn't post anything to TikTok. I did not set up shipping to Canada or Australia. I did do the night market. So I had a market booked in, which I did, which I am so happy about. I vlogged the whole day. So I will link that up there for you as well if you wanted to check it out. And that was really nice. And honestly, I think because I was so focused on that, the, then like the burnout and everything else sort of set in after that and it goes a little bit downhill. I did start planning for a bookish drop, which I wanted to do towards the end of April. So I've sort of been like planning, designing, coming up with ideas, doing that. Did I run ads? No, I absolutely did not run any ads. And I did apply for some markets or one market, should I say. So I applied for another market, which is great. So let me work out our percentage for that week. So again, the book and the method says that you need to be getting a minimum of 85% of your weekly tactics done in order to achieve your goals at the end of the 12 week year. And for that week, which is a pretty normal week, I guess I would say, of what we got done. We got 57.14% of things done, which isn't amazing, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna move on swiftly to week three of March, which is week eight of the 12 week year. And that is where I hit my wall, I guess. Yeah, so here it is. I didn't even set any goals outside of the ones that repeat every week. I didn't do anything except put the money in the accounts and pay off the credit cards that I needed to do. I didn't even post a YouTube video, which I'm really disappointed at myself for because the one thing that I've been 
consistent in since I started is posting a YouTube video at least every week and I didn't do that and I am kicking myself for it but I think I just needed to take the week off almost like I was still doing work things that needed to happen it just so happened to be that none of it was on the list anyway so that is everything that I did for week eight which is not a lot dare I even work out the percentage so that week it was 33.33 recurring percent which yeah I think it's important to acknowledge that if you're having a hard time then it's really easy to forget about tasks and goals and things like that and I think it's okay like I think taking care of your health and mental health is okay and you don't need to be working towards things all of the time and the thing that I'm starting to realize with this method is that because maybe it's me maybe I've done it wrong but because I've set so many goals and I'm trying to work on so many things at the same time and spread myself out across all of it I think it's really easy to get burnt out with the actual 12 week year process and things in itself on top of getting burnt out with everything else that's going on so yeah anyway moving on to last week which was week nine and I don't know how it went let's have a look so I paid the money towards the help to buy and I paid off one of my credit cards one credit card has made it a lot more difficult for me to pay it off so I think what I'm going to do going forward is there isn't a lot left on that card so I think I might just do one big lump payment like lump sum payment and do that so I didn't pay off that credit card I posted not one but two YouTube videos last week which has been the goal since the beginning and I achieved it on week nine Yay. congratulations to me <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself for getting two out and I have some fun plans so yeah I'm excited about that now on the other side of that did I post at all to Instagram or TikTok no I did not do that did I get multiple videos edited and scheduled yes so I've got one that I just need to get a few clips for. I think I'm in a good place to like churn out videos. I feel like churn out isn't the right turn of phrase, but I feel like I'm in a good place to get videos edited and uploaded. So I'm so happy with that. Prep for the April challenge. I've sort of started doing that, yes. I'm gonna be doing a fun business experiment or like social media experiment throughout April. I'm not gonna say anything, but that's gonna be happening throughout April, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be a lot of work. So I need to get started on all of that and start prepping for April drop. Again, I'm still in the designing, sort of coming up with ideas phase of all of that. So yeah, that also was achieved, which means let's work out our percentage for that week. So our percentage for last week was 58.33%, which after the abysmal 33% of the week before that, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I'm absolutely fine with that. I feel like I'm getting back in my groove and just the fact that I posted two YouTube videos is just, I'm very, very very happy with that. So that means we are now up to this week that we are currently in. It's week 10. We have three weeks to go and we're already on Tuesday of this week. So we have just under three weeks to go, which is wild. I'm trying not to think too much about the end results because I don't think they're going to be what I wanted or what I planned to get, but we're going to keep going and I want to finish with a bang. So for week 10, which is week five of March, this is so confusing. So I've got the money goals, which is the help to buy and the two credit cards. 
I'm just going to put money aside for that credit card that's made it more difficult to pay them, which why would they do that? So I'll just put the money aside and put it all in in one go. I've got post the YouTube video, but I've got that three times. So I'm hoping for the last three weeks of the 12 week year. So this week, next week and the week after. I'm hoping to get three videos out per week, which it's a lot. It's a bit scary, but I think if I get sort of in the habit of posting three videos a week, then if I drop it down to two, I will, it'll seem easier, I think. I don't know. I kind of want to do it. I want to go out with a bang. So I just want to do this and see how it goes. I've got post on Moonster, which is again, the business Instagram twice and post on TikTok twice. Okay, so I also have a market coming up in April. So I've got prep for the Lunar Night Market, which I'm so excited about. That's the one that I had to cancel because I was feeling unwell for Valentine's. So I'm so excited I get to go back. I also have prep for the first week of the April challenge. I wanna have that set up all ready to go and I'm so excited. I will be doing a whole video about how that went and I will share it with you all. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button because those videos will be coming out soon, you know, when I start the experiment. I need to start prototyping for the April drop because it's going to be some new products and new characters, which I'm so excited about. So I need to start prototyping them and making sure they're all perfect and it adorable and also I need to start decluttering the office. I'm gonna do a big like clean and organization of the office and everything anyway but there's just a lot of clutter in there that I need to get out. So that is everything that I have planned for this week. Yeah we are currently on Tuesday so I've got a lot to get done this week but I feel a lot better, which I think is the important part. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot more myself. And because I've got the market coming up, I've got loads of ideas that I want to work on. And also I have the April challenge coming up across all my social medias. I'm just really excited about it. So yeah, that's super fun for me. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see how this 12 week year thing is going to end, or if you want to see the results from the April challenge that I'm doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I will be posting three videos a week, at least for the next three weeks. So you don't want to miss those. Thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.